going on, guys? Congratulations. Do you think you're going to be able to outpay for the wedding now? <laughs> so. For the last few weeks, like, I assume you were asking or were in talks for this extension. How did that kind of process go? Yeah, you know, it's uh, business is business. It's part of this game. Um, both, both sides were mutually very respectful the whole time and um, just proud and uh, happy that we got something done. Last year at this time, there was so much talk about it. the running back market and whether how important is it for you to continue to try to keep raising that bar for, for the position group as a whole? I think it's really important. I think you know running backs have been undervalued for a long time now. Um, hopefully, this is a step in the right direction. You you were prominent last year during OTA for the amount of work that you were you were doing in practices. Were, were you able to kind of do that that workload elsewhere while this was all being worked out? Yeah, you know, there's no substitute for being on the field with the guys um, to practice football, but you know, you do the most you can with what you have. Christian, you had a really amazing year last year, but it's been said that you're, you're obsessed a little bit on the, on the fumble in the Super Bowl. Um, is that an accurate description? How do you view it, and how has it served as a motivator? Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't harp on one play, bad or good, uh, especially going into a new year, a completely new year. Um, you just got to focus on one day at a time and just stick to your process, whatever that may be. Um, but last year's last year, whether we won or lost, um, we're deep into the offseason now, ready for this next year. What is you, your time in this organization? What has made you just happy that you are going to be here for the next several years? And you know, just respect your prior organization, but you know, what makes you happy here? Uh, I just I really appreciate um, the players on the team. I think. Uh, you know, anytime you sign an extension, obviously you're individually really happy, but then you also have to think about the other guys on the team who helped you get there and um, who are a big part of your individual success. So I really, you know, I'm very thankful that I'm on a team with guys like that, uh, with a great staff, um, just an overall great organization that takes care of the players. And, um, so I've, I've had nothing but an amazing experience in my time here. I'm really fired up that I'm um, staying. What are your what it was like to walk out in the field? I saw you shaking hands with a couple of players when you first got out there. What was the sense of you know relief? <laughs> yeah, I think it you know it was it was awesome. I'm I'm very fortunate, man. I'm I'm really blessed and um, thanking God every minute just just because I, I feel really good. At, but at the same time, you know we we got to win football games and that's the business side of it. And uh, you got to learn how to separate the the business side and, and then when you're back on the field, make it about the football side. But um, I'm definitely not just ignoring it. I'm happy. I'm excited about it. And, uh, you know, appreciate the guys on the team. What are your initial impressions of Isaac Rendo? I think he's great. You know, I mean, I've, I've been with him for one day. I think both the, um, all three of the new running back additions are, are fantastic. You know, they're smart. Um, they're detailed. Uh, they go about it the right way. You can tell that instantly. And, um, you know, listen. Coach T's on them and they listen. They respond. Take coaching well. And, Excited for both of them, for all three of them in the room. What were the emotions Bobby, like for you watching the uh, draft with Luke getting drafted? What's he going to bring uh, to Washington? You think? Yeah, that was that was awesome, man. It was emotional. It was uh, it was so cool to to you know, it's like your the little brother. Of the, of, you know, you don't didn't really kind of hit me when when I saw his name go across the board. Be like, damn, that's Luke's playing in the NFL. Like, um, so I was just so proud of him, and um, I, I know how hard he's worked. I know the journey he's been on. I know the uh, the ups and the downs that he's gone through, and he's done nothing but persevere through them. So I'm fired up for him, and hopefully he has a lot of success. Coach, we always talk about like championship windows and you know how talented this roster is, but there's some older players on it too. And Armstead, you know, had, had left the team this year. How much window do you see for this team? How, how, how much extended does this team have a chance to keep this window open and win a championship? I don't know. I, I, I know we got a window this year. That's all I know. So focused on this year and again, you know, one day at a time, one week at a time, one year at a time. But you mentioned Bobby Turner and how he's really on the young running backs. He also is very much on them during the whole draft process. Did you have contact with him when you were going through that at all? Yeah, he. Uh, I met with him in the uh, in the train station um, late at night, passing for a little bit. Just got to talk to him, but you know, my dad. Would, played for the Broncos when he was a running back coach and coach TV and so obviously I knew who he was and I'd already heard the legend so um, I was fired up just to be able to chat with him for a little bit and you know all come kind of comes full circle so I'm thankful that 
thankful he's my coach and you know just in lieu of this extension you know he's somebody that plays a huge role in that we're okay. we're we're Yeah, I think I think the difference is the culture um, culture has been set for a while, and the standard is really high. I think when you have a lot of really good players who are also your hardest workers, um, it's a recipe for success. And it's the way that we're coached. I think is is different. You know, it's it's all about football. You know, when you get in these meetings, you're going over football. You're not just going over technique, but you're going on you're going over the attitude. Um, as an offensive player, I love watching them defensive meetings when Kyle's coaching up the defense because you start to understand the attitude of the team and the tone setters and there's a certain way you play football and, and hear the film examples of it. Um, and I think the combination of all of those different things, the, the way they feed you, the way they take care of you, uh, the training room, all, all the, the weight room, all these things that kind of come together, you get a full buy-in. I think when you have a full buy-in, especially from your most talented guys, it's a, it's a good recipe. Last one. Contract will take you your thirties, and since you're a running back, this was going to fall apart on your thirtieth birthday. <laughs> Do you view that as just another challenge to show that you can be different? Yeah, I've never really listened to all that stuff, and I think um, I've seen a lot of backs have a lot of success in their thirties. Um, so I, I've never really listened to any of that. I feel good. That's all I know. Okay. Sorry, one, one thing you said you met with Bobby. Turn a train station late at night. What was what, what the train station? <laughs> That's where the combine is at that, oh, that, that okay. hotel in Indy. Like the, it sounded like espionage. <laughs> <laughs> I can see how that would be a confusing statement. Yeah. Does he still have that much contact with you now that you are running for him underneath him as a coach? Oh, yeah, yeah. Constant, Constant. communication. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Woody Ward will be our last one.